to meet you in person. This great venue space. We didn't intend on even doing this. Yeah. Really, our business is about building great guitars and the shops in the back. Okay. And this was a coffee shop. It looks like a coffee shop. Yeah. And Matthew came to me and said, hey, we're going to relocate. Do you want to rent this space too? Okay. And that made perfect sense before the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we can we can mill some of our own wood here, just like a, a gentleman brought some cherry. I think it was his father-in-law had cut a cherry tree down yeah. and it was laying there. And so he's finally getting ready to burn it. He said, can I have it? Mm -hmm. So he took it and had it cut, brought it to us, and we milled oh. it and built him a classical. Man, I love, I think cherry is an amazing tone wood. Yeah. And we have uh, some of J.W. Gallagher's old cherry, because he built a lot of Queen Anne style yeah. furniture, so he had a lot of cherry and Don sold us enough to build 25 guitars. And so we're, we're gonna do that just special order. Cool. And this is Suavik, who's working with our CNC. What are you doing? Good. This is a headstock that's coming together. This is a headstock. Uh, you know, now we can order kerfing, right? Yeah. And they can mass produce it, but he had to make his own. Man. And so he would, and we've used it some, but it's just not practical. Yeah. But you cut your strip, set it, set it in. Okay, and then just and zip, then pull zip, the zip. blades across. Oh my and, goodness. And he designed it himself. That is amazing. Now it's got a newer motor on it. It's been updated, but yeah. it's just not practical for us now. Yeah. And this, JW was a machinist, so Don was telling me about this one, but JW built a machine to cut 20 slots at a time. I mean, it's just life before Stu Mac, you know? Yes. Like before there was like tools to make You had to figure jigs. out how to do it yourself. That's what I'm This is our hot room, like it's 97 degrees and 20% humidity. Okay. So like we, Arizona. Just, we just got some beautiful bird's eye in and uh, moisture level is a little too high. And so yeah. we had to bring it down some. Okay. That's great. So we just let it sit there long enough to bring it down, yep. and then we move it up into our wood room. And so you just every guitar day loving. I continue to. Um, oh my. This room smells so good. It's amazing. Like, I think I always think the hardest part of building a guitar must be the headstock design, because it's just everything that you can think of has been taken. Yeah. Uh, what do you what do you call this headstock? So this paper? is uh, this is what J W and Don designed, and they used the French curve. Okay. And so there's really not another one like it. Yeah. There, there's some similarities, but that's just always that Gallagher look, and then the Gallagher G. It is so iconic. It like is that G. Most importantly, with the sound. Yeah, absolutely. Well, because feel it. It's light but very stiff. Whoa! So that long grain stiffness. And this and this wide grain. I mean, that's all. Every good old boy that I've ever played guitar. Look, you know, they want that wide grain. You know. Well, here's some Engelman. Let me see. Oh yeah. Engelman. Yep, yeah, that's a uh, that, that creamy color and and, and really, really fine. tight. Yeah. Man, that's really tight. Yeah. Now one of the things that we're doing, you see these. Uh, numbers here, mm -hmm. this Pascal ratings, that's where we're using audio testing to determine the resonance Whoa, frequency okay. of each piece of wood that comes okay. in. And we enter that into a formula that then helps us to decide the thickness that's optimal for that piece of wood. That's amazing. So instead of just building the specs, we're building to the wood. Yeah. On each guitar. And does that play more into guitars that are voiced? into certain keys or certain shapes or like how does that yeah well first of all into... you know we want to know that piece of wood so it gives us that information what you're speaking to is then the next step where we also do audio testing once it's braced up 
mm -hmm. and we can use that then to help fine tune the bracing Man. so we can voice it. Yeah. Better. And then this is the shop itself. Wow. You would never know from the outside. No. This is all, no. which We're is just perfect. We're just tucked away back here. Yeah. yeah. I want. And, and again, I mentioned about JW. Wow. Um, this is where tops will be glued up. The tops, tops and backs are glued up, and he uh, just designed it and built what he needed. How cool. And um, there's other ways that you can join tops and backs, but not only is it iconic, it's very functional. Absolutely. It works for us. Yeah. And then the side cutting machine. Uh, which looks primitive enough. You put some spindles and saw okay. blades on, you know, and uh, pull it across. And then the side bending machine that he and Don built, we still use because it works. Right. Austin, the primary area he works in is this area of body construction. Okay. And uh, Sir, how are you? Hey, Austin. I'm Jeremy. Hi, nice to meet you. Good to meet you, man. And Austin has a great eye for book matching. If you look at our guitars, uh, just how nicely yeah. they're, they're book matched and the little details that just fit perfectly on the book matching. We can keep a record of, of all the guitars that we build in this book. Okay. Um, so, like David was talking about, some of the audio testing. So we take a Polaroid picture of all the guitar tops before okay. they're glued on. And then we have our frequencies of what the guitar top is vibrating at before it's glued on. Okay. Um, and we get that from from the speaker over there. We put some coffee grounds or sawdust on the oh, top. Can you see the pattern? Yeah, we see the pattern. So and then we usually draw oh, draw so in cool. all the different patterns that we get. I like this. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some some of them are yeah are kind of ambiguous. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a kind of a unique thing that we do here. Yeah, I mean, it's, wood is a, it's an organic material. It is. So it's, yeah. It's yeah. Different. Yeah. Nothing's ever the same. Yeah, we're so, looking. What we're looking for the most is a complete circle. Yeah. Uh, and it's really hard to get a completed oh. circle. Um, the the last body that I got done was a completed circle. So that's going to be act the most like a speaker. If you think about a speaker, how it works, yeah. uh, when you that strum the strings, it's going to push the most air. Okay. Um, which is going to be a, supposed to be a louder guitar. Okay. More, more coherent pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you get that pushing out. That is and so this cool. is one where it was braced up. Yeah. So the audio testing wasn't done yet because these are not finished carved. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not able to use but this one because we pattern. had some glue seep in. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Adirondacks are really bad about because yeah. the port, the grain lines are so wide. Yeah, it's really bad about getting uh, in grain and seepage just... from super glue or regular glue either. Man. But you can see where some of the testing was done. Yeah, uh, the initial pattern, and that's where you can mm -hmm. fine tune it some. Yep, depending on that because you want that closed. Yeah, yeah, and they're you know they're all chiseled. It's all a chisel top. It's okay. Not, not any, you know, sanding that goes on. A lot of like. Oh really? Like Martin. Well. Do you, you do? Know, hand do you do it like a? Yeah, I use uh, some little finger planes. You know. Wow, this is little finger planes. I mean, planes. this is like proper old school. Just you know, little chisels, and then just use you know your palm for sanding. Yeah, so it's it's really kind of a a breath of fresh air to see or work in a shop that's all hand hand tools, you know. That's so cool. Did, did you grow up around here? I did. I grew up in Bedford County okay. where the original shop was in okay. War Trace. What a uh, name. But, War Trace, Tennessee. Yep, yeah, that's it. So I guess I'll continue your tour. Um, so this is after we have all the rims and everything mm -hmm. together, the tops and backs braced. Um, we'll bring them over here. I don't have any ready for you, but I can kind of show you kind of what we do. So just picture the sides being in this one. Mm -hmm. So we radius both the top and the back sides on a radius sander, which is just a potter's wheel has been converted. Okay. Put it on there and put your foot on. Oh, got it. So um, it's completely flush across mm -hmm. or flat. And then, uh, so the radius will match this radius. So if you look at it, 
it's not perfectly flat. Yeah. This is a 15 foot radius on the tops or a 25 foot radius. Okay. Um, so we have our tops and our backs and then we put these radius forms on top after we get them on, put them like that and then clamp it down. That's how we glue our tops and backs on. That is cool. When people say, I play flat top guitar, they don't really play flat tops. No, the original Gallagher's were completely flat. Okay. Um, they had a flat head block because we radius our head blocks now. Having Having an arch gives everything more stability. Because yeah, I mean a tree is round. Yep, exactly. So trying to glue something flat is just kind of encourages cracks. That's, man, yeah. But yeah, if you look at any of the old ones, is is Chris Jones's flat? Uh, this Whoa, is his look guitar. At that. Yeah, it's you been it <laughs> played. Oh, Look at 383. Yeah, yeah, it's been repaired there. That is insane. <laughs> yeah. But, uh. Yeah, that's his Gallagher that he's. Uh, it's got a little. Just a little. But yeah, he, he brought it in more through the neck. It's still got a little radius in the middle gotcha. there. But that's amazing. It probably doesn't ever. And that is yeah, just such a, white grain right. too. Uh -huh. Yeah. So wow. this is the stage um, after the tops and backs are glued on. Yeah. So they're not flush trimmed yet. Yeah. Um, this is a GA60 model, so it's Western Red Cedar top and East Indian Rosewood back and sides. Man. And, that is beautiful. and we've been weighing instead of taking all the backs to a certain thickness, mm -hmm. we've been weighing them to relieve some of the the heaviness because a lot of the old ones were real heavy. Uh, let's see, so after they're like this, they get flush trimmed. This is a dock signature that we're working cool. on. So that's his signature. That's like a JP Cormier. Mm hmm. Does his have the dock inlay? I don't think his, it does. Uh, let's see, his is a, I think his is a G70. It is. So it's a, it's a rose, rosewood back inside. Okay. So the dock oh, signatures okay. are mahogany. Oh man. Um, so that's Honduran mahogany. Cool. We make some of them with African. I like African a little better. Okay. Myself, I think it sounds a little better. It's a little lighter. Yeah. Um, it looks very ribbony. Because mm -hmm. um, isn't African like another name? It's what Kaya. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. The Honduran actually the Honduran is lighter, but the African sounds better. Okay. So if you're gonna be playing it, yeah. Time, I love mahogany. Yeah. Like, that's I, my I do too. I do too. Um, so then, after they're flush trimmed, they get bound. So this one's been bound. Um, it still needs to be scraped and sanded. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. So this is mahogany back and sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's more that hunger. With, with herringbone. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted herringbone, but I like the sound of mahogany. Uh huh. And then this one is the African. So this one. Uh, might be for Trey Hensley. We're building him one, but we're gonna just let him pick cool. uh, after they get done. But that African just man, that's a book match with the eyes. It's just incredible. That's it's really, so really good. nice piece there. Uh, so after they get bound, they get scraped and finish sanded. This is where all the binding takes place. Okay. Um, Ivoroid or a tortoise shell. Herringbone. Um, I've really started to like the look of this bold herringbone lately. Stuff. So we use all the bold on our small bodies. Mm -hmm. um, so like our GC 70s or our GA 70s. And then all the necks get put together and carved in these two benches. Okay. Usually the fingerboards get put together and fretted on this one. And carved on that bench. Then they're finished sanded in that back room. Okay. Just a, uh, got a down drive table yeah. back there. So these are some dock signatures that he got sprayed last week, so they're just curing right now. And that's some of that African. Man, that's me. beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be, gonna be good. So the dock signatures have flame maple binding. Okay, yeah. And, uh, and then obviously the herringbone and then Sitka, Sitka tops. My first sunburst 
a couple weeks ago on our Tennessee guitar. I don't know if you saw any pictures of that. Yeah, so this is the first one, huh? Mm -hmm. That was, uh, had Bodoc back in sides. I don't know if you've ever played oh, Bodoc before. I haven't. It's, uh, it's kind of like a, a mix between maple and, and East Indian rosewood. So okay. It's really, really loud guitar. What's this? That's Teddy there. <laughs> Him presenting his child to the yeah, world. That was in our first newspaper article, so I photoshopped his face. Yes. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's about it in here. And a lot of times, Hunter, you usually uh, wet sand them and buff them, don't you? Know? Yeah. So this is Hunter. How's it going, man? What's your name? I'm Jeremy. Jeremy, good to meet hey, you. Hey, man. Um, we use like 800 grit to level the finish out, and yeah. then we'll bring it up to 1,000 grit, and then take it to our buffing wheel, and we've got three different wheels. We run up through the grits, take it to a high polish, like these Jeez, ones. This that is, is for so cool. Custom guitar for a customer. This was our first uh, rosewood slope shoulder. Oh, cool. But yeah, we Look like that. That, bring them up like, to this high gloss. That green is crazy. Yeah, this is Adirondack. Yeah, that's that's about it. Looks very good. This one just looks so cool. Yeah, it's, it's me. yeah you can see like <laughs> where his arm is worn through the herring bone there. Man, yeah. This is just where he's saying, "Who's your arm?" Yeah, he he put an arm rest on it himself. <laughs> Get that uh, striped ebony fingerboard there. That's so cool. That's some of the prettiest birds I. Uh, we've ever seen it's like I know. it's a mix between flame maple and bird's eye which is pretty killer bird's eye fire and striped head and head cap I'll take you over to see some of the finished guitars These are oh this is top in here yeah now here's some of the finished guitars. Oh, this um, room smells so good. Yeah, it's, it's killer. Here's some of that, another one of those bird's eye, uh, that same tree, with that striped ebony. Dude, that is beautiful. Yeah, it's like, it's incredibly rare, and it's just so beautiful. We built a jumbo with it, too. George Gruen bought that at NAMM. Okay. And he bought that ten all Tennessee Woods guitar, too. with a K and K in it. Love and we call it the songwriter because we're thinking about those guys who want to go out and play gigs. And a K and K is the perfect pickup to do those two things well. But this guitar I think I feel like it feels very capable and you can mm -hmm. do whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. Your friend uh, Billy Nix. Oh yeah. This is the sister to what he called. Oh, cool. The auditorium shape, like the okay. ragtime, but deeper bell, and then the rosewood. Okay, but okay. It, it works. I mean, it's it got great volume and punch to it. When I look at it, it like looks like an OM size, or smaller than an OM, like a double O. Mm -hmm. You have to try the GA60.
it's like, and I wanted to go like really quiet all the way up to full volume, yeah. and it just, it never, it never lost anything. This is so cool. So this is this is your your baby. That that is. I wanted an earthy tone to it. I did want it shiny and bright. Yeah. Wing gate got a nice chocolate color to it. I love like the texture. Yeah, and the texture to it. And what are these bridge pens? Uh, those are snake wood. Okay, and, and they snake wood tuners. That's so cool. I don't. I'm sorry, I don't want to take yeah. your time. Oh well, I, I appreciate you checking us out. Absolutely. Spending some time. This is so fun. With us. Yeah. yeah. Um. Cool. So for them, how do they find you? So GallagherGuitar.com. We can build anything though. I mean, we build a lot of customs, but you can see some of the, the models that yeah. we regularly build. Absolutely. Now, are you selling direct? Or are we you... are. Okay. And some dealers okay. as well. Yeah. Nam was good for us that way. So we've got some other dealers. All right. I'll try Great to spend time with you. And I really do appreciate the feedback. Similar. 